In Sydney, at least it was a better than the away game in Adelaide. Gord Dolan's handle cut off by Tudor. A chance important ball. There has never been a round quite like the seventh in this centenary season. A Wednesday night at the MCG. A huge build-up as Legends teams, captained by Lee Matthews and Ron Barassi, turned back the clock 100 years. 75,000 turned up for the first of four reenactment matches. Over the next five days, more than 300,000 fans in four states would watch the very best the AFL had to offer. And for sheer excitement, the match between the Bombers and the Cats was first class. Simons has handled out wide. Denner who doesn't know whether to kick it or go for goal. He goes for goal. Bouncing ball. He's got it. Doolan has to sit and wait over it. Wilman finds some traffic and hurt, hurt away. At centre wing. Kicks a beauty to Cummings. They're enjoying this at the moment, Essen. He kicked eight goals on this ground in his debut a couple of years ago. He's 52 metres out. He's kicked it magnificently. Suddenly the Bombers have hit the front. Cummings, well played, McGrath. Ricochets away. The Bombers had Buick back in the team 11 months after injuring his knee. He was as spectacular as the fireworks. Geelong had kicked the first four goals, but Essendon caught them by quarter time. The second quarter had everything. Seven Essendon goals. A bit of a hold on the game. Oh, beautiful kick. Magnificent kick to Buick. There really wasn't enough room there between Burns and Scholl, and somehow or other he found it. Yeah, we looked like we were going to get to get the big collision. Buick kept going. So Darren Buick from 45 metres kicks. He's kicked his second in two minutes. And the Bombers punch out that lead to 12 points. It was to be costly, however. Norm Smith medalist Michael Long, back for only his second game after a knee reconstruction, slipped and injured his knee again after shooting for goal. A freak mishap that was to sideline him for the rest of 96. Masidi, Simons, a bit too easy actually, away from Tudor. Gets it to Pryor, normally direct, goes high. Geelong have got the numbers, Mansfield missed it. Harvey's taken the mark. It's a mark, play on call. Buick will kick his third. Brewer working it. Tudor, who's a sharp Tudor, a bounce. Beautiful play to Brownless, except the, uh, the kick didn't quite find him. Billy turns his man inside out and kicks his third. Grab high, Harvey somehow or other swings it under his boot. Buick, the goal kicker, racing. Mercury in the goal square by himself now has to go back and sets up Chris Danaher from 30 metres, and the Bombers have got another one. Grenvold to Fletcher at half back. It's been a wonderful night so far, except for that, and uh, a terrific crowd. And they're seeing a really entertaining match. Fletcher's kick, Somerville was held onto, heard. Fantastic handball. Mercury with skill, turns his man inside out, goes for goal. It's close. Whoa. Oh. Don't you love it when you see something like that? Minch, Somerville again gets a tap to Masidi, throws it onto the boot, falls into open territory, coming out to meet it, is getting underneath it, Hurd, now back to Hurd, turns, certain goal. So the... Had a huge first half, Mercury, kicks to 4-4, Cummings on a leg, good mark. Some positive football again by Essendon. Long kicking has been their trademark, particularly in the opening term when they charge back at Geelong. Going for his fourth goal, kicking from uh, about 49. Looks good, he's got it. High ball now, gets to within about 25 metres. O'Connor at the back, Cummings roving, gives a handball off to Buick. Normally brilliant, he's kicked his fourth. It's what the match needed, a late Essendon goal to give them momentum and close it again. Over the back to O'Connor, solidly met by Brewer, falls to Pryor. Now Pryor from 65 metres out kicks over the back.
back Buick. Certain goal. Oh, the Bombers are back in this. Scotty's fifth there and Buick. And McCurry has kicked to the goal kicking Darren Buick. Five goals straight. Three in the second, one in the third, and one in the fourth. Would you consider this a percentage kick, Malcolm? <laughs> no. Didn't view it work all brilliantly there. It was a great mark in the end. Yeah, great adjustment. Yeah, good players do it, don't they? Now, on a very tight angle. Kicks. Oh, the goal umpire hasn't moved again, so the Bombers are now within three points of the Cats. Pryor, this wonderful kicking youngster. Her putting in the deep ones. Now chips back over the head to Buick. The danger man gets around his opponent. Now he gets out, gets out of the pocket, kicks, and he's kicked his eight. Oh, the Buick's on fire. Buick in his 150th was the star of the game. After trailing by 17 points, the Bombers exploded. Buick kicked nine to be unanimous best of field. The Bombers by 29 points. The knees would dominate the news. When Long's leg collapsed from beneath him during the second quarter, it signalled a premature end to his season for the second time in just over two years. No, he's not in uh, great shape, Michael Long. Straight after the Bombers' fighting 29-point victory, Long was taken to hospital where he will be operated on shortly for a snap patella tendon in his right knee, the same joint which required a reconstruction in 1994. It's a real sad tragedy for him at the present time, but we'll support him uh, to get him back on that football track as soon as he possibly can, and we, uh, and we can get him right. And to see how he did it, which is an absolute... Uh, he just could not believe it. We're going to do without him for a while. It's going to be a tragedy, really. But the night belonged to comeback kid Darren Buick. His first match back from a knee reconstruction 11 months ago, reaping nine goals in an electrifying performance. We've been a bit down lately, so you know someone had to try and get them a bit excited, and you know I hopefully, well, I think I might have done that last night. The Bombers back on track. Kevin Sheedy having the last laugh on his detractors. I think the players last night said, "Look, we're just sick of this, and just that last half an hour, they just went for the, you know, just went for the jugular, and um, they played very well." For Bomber Thompson, game number 200. Celebrate.